We'll take it from here. Aim it. Tommy, Half Ton Hank Circus is coming to Armadillo. Hello. Hey, good to see you. Matter of fact, temperature these days. Que tal? Well, hello there. I've been hearing about this midway that has dancing Indians. Mighty queer. No me digas. Hasta pronto. Bye now. Carrying a Carcano sniper rifle was walking about town. They said, Okay, what could be seen? Nobody saw it. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. 
Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent writer. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland.
fun to get so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at Weston Broncos? That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. That's all I'm saying. 